Special thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tour possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Kirtu of Winger bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Bell UH-1Y Venom. The Bell UH-1Y Venom, also called the Super Huey, is a twin engine medium sized utility helicopter built by Bell Helicopters under the H-1 upgrade program of the United States Marine Corps. One of the latest members of the numerous Huey family, the UH-1Y is also called Yankee based off the NATO phonic alphabet pronunciation of its variant leather. The UH-1Y was to have been manufactured from the UH-1Ns, but in 2005 it was approved for the Huey to be built as new. After entering service in 2008, the UH-1Y replaced the USMC's aging fleet of UH-1Ns twin Huey light utility helicopters, first introduced in the early 1970s. In 2008, it entered full production and with deliveries to the Marine Corps to be completed in late 2018. So yeah, the UH-1Y Venom, basically the latest and greatest edition of the Huey family. Um, it is really surprising that the Huey family of helicopters is still kind of around. It's still going strong and the UH-1Y is just kind of further proof of that. Um, obviously it's upgraded with all the latest and greatest uh, new gadgets and it's also capable of carrying rocket pods and also have side mounted door gunners. Again, kind of similar to the traditional Hueys back used back in Vietnam. So really awesome helicopter and came out really good overall a uh, awesome design and is going to make a great addition to any of your kind of Marine Corps type scenarios. Um, so definitely really cool stuff in that front. Um, I especially see these used on ships so it seems like a lot of the <coughs> the uh, USMC's amphibious transport ships and Stuff like that, and this is kind of the helicopter. It's more of a naval type helicopter rather than a inland helicopter, but overall, super cool design, and I think it came out really good. Before we get to take a look at the design, I want to give you a special thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choosing, depending on which tier you go ahead and subscribe to. Helps me out with the channel and supports my work, and as, all, as uh, I just mentioned, you earn a vehicle request of your choosing, so definitely some motives there and um you know overall a cool program and we have a lot of cool vehicles that have been built so far through that um through patreon anyways uh let's go ahead and move into taking a look at the build and uh seeing all the cool features this thing has to have so this has been completely entirely rebuilt uh very recently i used to have an old design on my old tutorial world but uh part of transferring stuff over uh we had to build this new one and also such as patreon request uh we had to build a new one so start off we have obviously the cockpit up here all the sensors and gadgets and stuff like that all around the front. As you work our way to the side we have the door gunners and it's basically an inside bay here so you can have plenty of room for interior. You can actually fit a pretty decent sized interior in this uh, aircraft. Uh, but this version here we do have some door gunners and rocket pods equipped. Again they can be removed if you don't want them but uh, I just think it makes the helicopter look a whole lot more uh, interesting to have the side gunners and the uh, rocket pods there. Uh, we do have the doors so we have the doors open um, as you can see here, all the way around, pretty straightforward stuff there. And as we approach the back here, we have the two engines here, uh, the tail rotor, and everything like that. So overall, really nice looking helicopter, and again, you can really kind of see the Huey in it. Um, you definitely can tell it's a Huey, just completely beefed up and modernized. So overall, really nice looking helicopter. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design. Without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. All right guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we go ahead and begin with layer one. Now a few things I want to mention before we get started with this layer is if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, and half off. What this means is we'll be building the center line and the right side of the helicopter on camera, and then it'll be up to you guys in between layers to copy the left, the left side over. This helicopter is pretty much completely symmetrical except for the tail rotors so whatever we do on one side is going to be on the other side so it's pretty straightforward and once we get through the first few layers it's going to make a little bit more sense on what we're doing here just kind of makes the tutorial a little bit easier and faster for me to record um, also in addition uh, this is going to be basically for theoretically the in-flight version only since we do not have a droop down rotor or uh, the uh, yeah the droop, droop down rotors uh, so technically this wouldn't be a landed version, however you could use it like a landed version. Just note, layer 1 is the lowest point of the helicopter, so if you want to build this flying, just take that into account. And um, you can also place this on the ground if you want to. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be placing down a polished andesite top slab. 
Now this right here is going to be near the nose of the aircraft, so just take that into account. But it's this top slab right here on the bottom of this little optic box on the front nose. So just, you know, little, just kind of giving you guys an idea of where we're at. Anyways, from this polished anti top slab, we're going to go ahead and then place, skip one, two, and three blocks. We're going to place down a smooth stone slab, top slab, followed by an end rod coming off of it facing toward the front. So you should have something that looks like this here in the front. We then want to place down an iron trap door coming off this top slab, and then coming off the trap, the uh, iron trap door to the side, we're going to place down a second iron trap door, followed by a stone brick top slab, and then a stone brick slab going down like so. Going off this top slab going forward, we're going to place down an iron trap door, a skeleton skull, and then going back the other way from the stone brick slab, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors, a stone brick slab, a stone brick top slab, and then we're going to have three iron trap doors that are going to go across and connect over to the other side. And then going back from this stone top slab here, we're going to place down a narrow iron trap door like so. So as you can see, we just built the right side here. The same thing is going to be done over on the left side, so you should have something that looks like this here for the front landing gear. Or I should say kind of uh, landing skids, um, I guess would be the proper term. Um, anyways, once we get to this point, we're going to, go and to skip a space from this iron trap door of one, two, three, and four blocks, and then we're going to place down two more iron trap doors like so. Again, make sure that they are not on the bottom here, on the floor like this. You want to make sure that they're on the top portion of the block, so like that. So again, a space of four from the center iron trap door going toward the back and two iron trap doors like so. So basically, looking at it, we should have a layer that looks something like this here completed for layer number one. That's it for layer one. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer layer number two. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and go to the nose of the aircraft down top of this polished anzite top side, we're going to place down a polished anzite full block. Coming off that polished anzite full block toward the front, we're going to place down an item frame with a black bed in the item frame, and the black bed is going to be rotated so the pillow is facing upwards, like so in the item frame. We then just want to place down a dark liquid sign on the side of this polished anzite block to cover this all up, and that will pretty much call it good for that. From this, we're going to go ahead and go back by placing down a stone upside down stair, Followed by one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks, a polished anisite block, a shulker box, which you want to make sure that it's upside down. So to do this, we're going to have a block above it. We're going to go and go down a block like this, and then place another shulker box like so. So you have the basically the top here of the shulker box facing downwards. After that's done, we're going to place down there a polished anisite block, a stone block, stone upside down stair, stone top slab, two iron trap doors, and then two end rods like so on these two iron trap doors on the rear here. And that right there is going to be the center line of the helicopter. Moving out to the right side, now on the right side here, everything we do on this right side is going to be copied over to the left side. So to begin with, we're going to place down a stone top slab on the side of this polished anti block. Going back from it, we're going to place down a stone corner stair come off the side of this stair, a light gray stained glass block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks coming back, a polished anti full block, and then one and two, or sorry my bad, it's going to be, uh, yeah actually sorry it's going to be a full block, so one, two, uh, stone full blocks, and then a stone top side here, I'm going back, and then we just want to place down an iron trap door, so this is what the row looks like, pretty straightforward stuff, again going out to the side here, we're going to go ahead and go to this stone full block here, we're going to place down a stone top side coming off of it, we then want to go ahead and take our stone top slabs, we're going to place down one more, one more back. And then taking stone stairs, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six stone ups and down stairs, and then a stone top slab here, like so. And that right there is going to pretty much do it there for the main body of the aircraft. Now if you do want to add the rocket pods onto the sides here, to do this real simply, we're going to go, and go to the stone top slab here. We're going to place down a green terracotta block to the side, and then one and two, forward like so. And then we're going to place down an oak wood trapdoor on both ends of the rocket pod. And we're going to also place down a birchwood button on the sides here of these two green terracotta blocks. And that's the adding the rocket pods. Again, those are optional. You don't need to add those. Uh, but I do think they add like a nice little offensive uh, look to the aircraft. Anyways, here's what it should look like from up above here for layer 2 complete. Anyways, that's it for layer 2. Let's move into layer number 3. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this dark oak wood sign, or basically above this space right here. We're going to place down an additional two stone blocks going back from it, followed by a light gray stained glass full block right here. We're then going to take gray carpet, and for the interior, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and 5 gray carpets like this going back. A stone brick wall on top of this uh, polished anti block. 
two uh, gray wool full blocks, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone top slabs, three stone top slabs, two iron trap doors coming off these stone top slabs, a stone brick top slab, two end rods, and then a skeleton skull on the rear there. And there, there is going to do it there for the center line of the aircraft. Going out to the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down an andesite wall from off this stone block, followed by an end rod coming off of it facing forward. We're then going to place down two stone blocks back, followed by a light gray stained glass block next to this one in the middle, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven gray carpets back, a stone brick wall, and then one, two, three stone blocks back, and then one, two, and three andesite walls back, like so. After that's done, going back up to the front here, we're going to go to this second stone block. We're going to place down an andesite wall coming off of it, followed by a row of one and two <coughs> stone blocks, and then a black concrete block, a stone block, and then on the sides here, we're going to be placing down a ladder on the black concrete block, and then a birchwood trapdoor coming off these two stone blocks, like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone stair come off this birchwood trapdoor, like so and then a skeleton skull here on the inside and then we just want to go and then place down a gray carpet right here next to this like so from this point here uh, we're going to go and then place down a lever on this to the side here we're also going to place down a dark oak trap door open to the side and then another lever like so we're going to go and then place down a stone brick stair followed by a stone stair a second stone stair and another stone brick stair like that for the doors and also coming off the first stone brick stair here on the back we're going to place down a trip bar hook like so. For the machine guns here on the sides uh, we're going to go ahead and place down another brick wall coming off this dark oak wood trap door. And to both sides of this narrow brick wall we're going to place down two dark oak wood fence gates opened up toward the wall. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood sign on this narrow brick wall like so. And once you have that complete, you're going to go and take what we did over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you should have something that looks just like this here for layer number three complete. As you see, you do have some good interior space, so if you do want to put some chairs in here, make a little cockpit section for yourself, you definitely have the room to do so. So you definitely uh, go crazy, and there's plenty to add. I do not have an interior included with this tutorial, but uh, you do have the good kind of foundations to build a nice one if you do want to. Anyways, that's it for layer number uh, three. With that, let's move into layer number four. Before we move into layer 4, one thing I forgot to add was on the side here of the stone block right here, we're going to place down a dark oak with sign, iron frame on the side of the block, and a black bed in the iron frame, rotated so that the pillow is facing toward the front. And it's going to be the same thing there on both sides. Uh, my apologies on missing that, just go ahead and throw that on. And with that done, that's it for layer 3. Let's move on to layer 4 now. Alright, let's move on to our next layer. We have layer 4. For layer 4, we're going to start off by placing down a gray carpet on top of the stone block here in the front. Followed by an iron trap door that goes back from it, a stone brick slab, and then a light gray stained glass full block. After that's done, working our way out to the sides here, we're going to place down a gray carpet next to this iron trap door, iron trap door back from the gray carpet, and a light gray stained glass block next to it, or er, coming off the iron trap door, so you have a row of three light gray stained glass blocks here, once you have the other side transferred over as well. Then coming off this row of three here, we're going to have a light gray stained glass pane, a light gray stained glass full block going back, and then one and two stone blocks like so going back. And we're going to place down a trip bar hook on the second stone block, like so. Also to the sides here, on top of this stone stair, we're going to place down a andesite wall, just like that. After that's done, go ahead and focus our attention back here to the uh, rear section of the aircraft now. We're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of this one, two gray wool blocks back, followed by one, two, three, four, and five stone blocks, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine gray wool blocks back, just like that. And on the very end here of that row of nine of gray wool, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, so it should look like that there for your center line. Working our way out to the sides now, we're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of this one right here. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone blocks back, a black concrete block, and then a ladder here coming off of it to the side. We're then going to take our stone brick walls and place down one and two stone brick walls going back. A skeleton school um, on your fourth gray wool block back, so one, two, three, and your fourth one back. We want to go and then go uh, five, six into our seventh one. We're going to place down two stone top slabs coming out to the sides, and then our eighth block here, we're going to place down one, two, and three stone top slabs coming out to the sides there for the horizontal stabilizers here on the rear. After that's all complete, we're going to go ahead and then 
focus our attention back here to the sides. We're going to place a nice stone brick wall on top of the stair, followed by one and two and the side walls, and then a stone brick wall on top of that stone brick stair, just like that. With that out of the way, uh, pretty much the last thing we have to do for this layer is add the machine guns on the sides here. So the machine guns themselves, real simple designs, uh, basically my standard 50 cal design modified a little bit for being mounted to the aircraft, but to begin with, all we're going to do is place down an anvil on top of this dark oak with trapdoor, followed by another brick up stairs stair coming off of it. We then want to take end rods and we're going to place down a row of two of end rods coming off the narrow brick stair like that for the barrel of the gun. Uh, we're going to place down a dark oak defense gate coming off the anvil like so and open up toward it. And then on both sides of the anvil here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like so. Now depending on which side of the aircraft you're on, if you're over here on the will be the left side of the aircraft, we're we'll placing down a green terracotta block to the right side of the stair. However, over here on the left side, we want to go ahead and place down the green terracotta block to the right side of the stair as well. So you can see here that they're kind of mirrored. And this is to represent that the guns obviously would have the same kind of mechanisms to each other. So the kind of drum here for the belts will be kind of positioned the same way on both sides. So you do want something that looks like this here for the two sides. Uh, you don't want it like this. Though it doesn't really matter, it kind of does matter if you're trying to be realistic about things. And anyways, with that out of the way, uh, we're going to go and then grab ourselves a item frame, a black bed, and a dark oak with sign. We're going to go and go to the other side of the stair, opposite the green block. We're going to place a dark oak with sign, item frame, and a black bed in the item frame, like so, rotated so that the pillow is facing toward the front. And once you have that all done there, that will pretty much wrap up uh, what we need to do here. Again, here's a look at the two guns in this area, like so. Pretty straightforward stuff, but that right there is going to do it for layer number four. With that, let's move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our light gray stained glass panes, and we're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane here on the center block, followed by a light gray stained glass full block going back from it. We then want to place down a row of four of iron trap doors on the top portion of those blocks, so like that, followed by a stone brick wall, two gray wool blocks, four stone blocks, a gray wool block, like so, a stone brick slab, three iron trap doors, three stone brick slabs, stone brick stair, and two gray wool blocks like that going back there. And the right there is going to basically make up your center line here of the aircraft. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here of this gray wool block here on the back here, on both sides of the first one, we're going to place down a stone button. Going back up to the front and working our way out to the sides, we're going to place down a light gray stainless paint coming off this one, light gray stainless full block going back from it. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 iron trap doors going back. A stone brick wall right here. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of 1 and 2 stone full blocks, and a site wall, stone brick stair facing this direction, and a stone brick slab after the stone brick stair, like so. Our next row, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to place down a light gray stainless paint coming off the sides here of this row of 3 light gray stainless full blocks followed by a wither skeleton school coming off it going forward. We then want to place down a row of two of stone blocks, and we're going to place down a stone button on this first stone block here nearest the cockpit. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone upside down stair, coming off this inside wall, just like so. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and also grab a iron trap door and a skeleton school. We're going to place down a skeleton school coming off this stone block here, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four. Iron trap doors back. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick uh, upside down stair on the side here, followed by two stone upside down stairs, a stone brick upside down stair, and that right there will basically do it there for your doors. And uh, one of the, some of the last things we're going to do here is for the machine guns. We're going to go ahead and place down a red stone repeater on top of the narrow brick stair with the notches flicked all the way forward, and we're going to put our power rails here on these green terracotta blocks and make sure the rails here are sideways kind of going toward the redstone repeater like that. And that right there is going to basically do it for the main structure here for this layer. We do have some banner work to do, so we're going to go ahead and kind of move into uh, a section of the tutorial where we're going to go ahead and make these banners here for basically representing the windows here on the helicopter. Anyways, uh, that's it for the overall kind of structure of the layer. Let's go ahead and move into the banners. Alright guys, so for these banners here, real simple, all we're going to do is go ahead and place down a loom. And uh, we're gonna need four black banners and four light gray dye for the, or eight light gray dye for this. Pretty straightforward. We're gonna go and go into our loom, and we're gonna start off by making these banners that are gonna be going ahead and going on these doors right here. 
So to make them real simple, going into our loom, we're going to place down a black banner in our loom and our light gray die. Now for this, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and doing a line down the center here of gray. So just like this, and we're going to go and grab the banner. We're going to go and take one of our other black banners and do the same thing, except this time we're going to do the gray on the opposite side. After those two banners are done, we're going to go ahead and put them back into our looms, and we're going to go ahead and do the line of gray die across the top here. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. So we get two banners that look basically just like this. Now what we want to do here is we're going to be placing down on the sides like so. So we want them on the sides here with the black portion of it facing closest to the fuselage. So this will be the same thing here on both sides here and that's going to create those little windows just like that. And those are it for those side windows here on the these uh, smaller doors that open up. For the main doors, to make those banners, we're going to go, and go back into our loom. We're going to place our black banner back in here and our light gray die. Now this time, for these banners, we're going to go and select the line here on the left side, so it's going to kind of split the uh, banner into thirds. It's going to be the smaller line on the left side. We're going to go and do this, and we're going to go do the same thing here with the smaller line over here on the right side. With both these banners, we're going to go and put them back into our loom. Select the line across the top here, gray die. Same thing right here. Just like that. And with that complete, we're going to go and just very simply put them on our stairs here, alternating like that to create these little windows here on the sides. And that's all you really need to do for these banners. Again, really straightforward stuff there, and actually comes out really nice looking. But yeah, that's it for what we have for layer number 5. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number 6. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of this light gray stainless block, followed by a stone brick top slab coming up from it like so. We then want to place down an air brick wall after it, followed by a stone brick stair, and then a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, gray uh, wall blocks back, followed by a stone brick wall here on the end. We're going to go ahead and then skip back here to our vertical stabilizer on top of this gray wall block. We're going to place down a stone brick stair, gray wall block back, and an air stone brick stair directly after it like so. And on both sides of this gray wool block, we're going to place down a stone button like so. With that done, going ahead and moving back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to the light gray stainless block here. We're going to place down a stone button on top of it, followed by a gray carpet back, and then one and two iron trap doors back from it. We then want to place down a row of one and two stone brick walls, and then one, two, three, four, and five gray wool blocks, a black concrete block, a stone brick wall, and that right there will kind of finish it there for that row. Our next row out, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and three gray wool blocks. And then we're going to place down a red stone up here with the notches flicked across like that. And then a iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick wall, a black concrete block, and then one, two, three, four, and five gray wool blocks back, followed by another brick block here on the end. Uh, we then want to place down a stone button here on the side of this um, narrow brick block. And then we're going to go and grab ourselves a black bed, some item frames, and also a dark oak wood sign. We're going to place down an item frame here, or sorry, dark oak wood sign on this side of the narrow brick block, an item frame, and then a black bed in the item frame rotated to the pillows facing toward the inside here. After that's done, going ahead and going back up to the Narrow brick wall here, we're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor on the side of it and also on the side of this black concrete block. And we're going to go ahead and close them like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and skip a space, place down one and two stone brick walls, followed by one and two gray wall blocks, and then a narrow brick full block, just like that. After that, we're going to place down an item frame here, black bed, rotate on the side like so, and a dark oak sign over the item frame like that, stone bun here on the side of this narrow brick block like that. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up this layer. All you need to do is transfer the same thing over to the other side there. Here's what it kind of looks like for the back here. And here's what it looks like from above this layer. So pretty simple. Anyways, that's it for layer number 6. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 7. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into our next layer. We have layer number 7. For layer 7, go ahead and get started with here. We're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door. Kind of coming off this stone brick slab going up. And then go like so. And then going ahead and going on top of the stone brick top slab, I'm going to place down a gray carpet. We then want to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor on top of this narrow brick wall, 
followed by an iron trap door on top of the stone or this gray wool block, and then going back from the iron trap door and place down one, two, and three gray wool blocks, a black concrete block, one, two, and three gray wool blocks, and then wither skeleton skull on the end here. We then want to go ahead and go to this stone brick wall here, place down a skeleton skull, a stone brick stair after it, and then we want to place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone brick slabs going back, followed by a rail here over this black hole or this black concrete block. Again, going up to the front here, we're going to place down a daylight detector coming off the front of the stair, change it to the night mode, like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab going back, stone stair, face in this direction, then one and two stone slabs, a daylight detector, again turn to night mode, and then a iron trap door with a stone button on the end here. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here, on top of the stone brick wall, we're going to place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle like so, followed by a skeleton skull on top of this wall, and then we want to place down a daylight detector, change it to night mode, iron trap door, and a stone button just like that. And also on the bottom here are these nether brick blocks, we're going to be placing down stone buttons as well, that's something I forgot to add, so just go and make sure you add those to the bottom of those blocks on both sides. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to go move back to our vertical stabilizer. For this, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this uh, gray wool block. And then we're going to place down a gray wool block that goes back from the stone brick stair. And on both sides of this gray wool block, um, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone button on both sides. Anyways, once that's done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number 7 of the build. With that, we're going to move into our last layer, which will be layer 8. And then from there on, we pretty much just have the rotors left to do. So with that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number 8. Alright guys, moving into our last final layer, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with here. We're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of this gray wool block here, followed by a black concrete block directly behind it. We then want to place down a gray wool block, a stone brick stair, narrow brick wall, stone brick slab, and a daylight detector turned to the night mode, like this for the center line here. Going up to the sides from this, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull from off this stone brick wall, a stone brick upside down stair going back from it, second stone brick upside down stair, and a skeleton skull like so, and a dark liquid sign on the side of this narrow brick wall. After that's all done, that's going to kind of complete the uh, front section up here, and all that's left for us to do is to have the rotors up there. And we're moving back to our tail here, we're going to go ahead and place down a gray shulker box on its side like so, so facing out to the right side. And then we want to place down a stone brick stair coming off the uh, gray uh, shulker box. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and we'll place down a wither skeleton skull coming off this gray shulker box to the side here. And also we're going to place down a gray carpet on top of the stone brick stair and also the shulker box like so. With that done, coming off the shulker box to the left side, we're going to place down a narrow brick wall, a light gray shulker box, and a stone button coming off the light gray shulker box. We then uh, want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood fence gates. We're going to place down a row of two dark oak wood fence gates coming off of it to the sides. So one, two, one, two, and then going up one and two narrow brick walls, and down one and two narrow brick walls like that for the rear propeller, or the rear uh, prop. And that right there is going to basically complete what we have here for our final layers, uh, or final, final layer I should say, layer 8. And with that we're going to go ahead and now move into uh, the last part of the tutorial, which is going to be building these rotors on the top here. So with that, let's go ahead and move into the final part of the tutorial, the main rotors. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into the final part of the tutorial, we're going to be going ahead and moving into the main rotors. So for this, very really simple, we're going to go ahead and go to this black concrete block on the top here, we're going to place down a narrow brick wall that comes up from it. We're going to go ahead and place down a smooth uh, stone top slab on all four sides, coming off that narrow brick wall. And then in the corner spaces here, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull like this, coming off these top slabs. Now once we have that complete, we're going to go ahead and then grab our narrow brick slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down one and two narrow brick top slabs coming off each one of these stone top slabs. So all the way around, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab coming off the narrow brick top slabs again around to all four sides. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a smooth stone slab on top of this narrow brick uh, wall here, followed by an iron trap door. On all the stone slabs, and then we're gonna place down a dark oak with trap door coming off these out to the sides there, like so. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a black carpet on top of these narrow brick top slabs all the way around. 
And we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Red Star Peter. And we're going to place down a Red Star Peter with the notches separated as far as they go on top of each one of these stone brick stairs. Or stone brick top slabs. Again, all the way around. Now, once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood trapdoors. And we're going to go ahead and go off of each one of these stone brick top slabs nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we're going to go ahead and then take our black carpet and place it on the top here. And again, we're going to do this for each one of these. So four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and our black carpet. So just like this, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, black carpet, and front here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, black carpet. Now with that all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then add our blades to make them a little more thicker, give them a little bit more shape. Now to do this, we're going to go ahead and start with the one facing toward the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to the second dark oak wood trap door. We're going to place down one on the side, and we're going to go ahead and go forward nine. So we have one already, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it should, should stick out one past this row like so. We're going to go ahead and then place our black carpet on the top here. Now since we did this row here on the right side of this main kind of uh, the basically the main portion here we're going to go ahead and do that all the way around so we're going to do it to the right side of each one of these blades all the way around and we're going to go to the second one here and take our trap doors all the way out to the side here go one past our black carpet again over here the right side so our second tra second trap door here again our pro all the way back and then our black carpet and then our last row, or our last uh, prop here, or rotor, all the way along the side here, like so. And our black carpet. And once you have that done, you can see here from above that we have the rotors complete. They have a nice shape to them, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And that right there is going to complete my tutorial for the Bell UH-1Y Venom. Uh, medium utility helicopter. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this uh, tutorial and are able to put to good use. If you do want to use this as I do, I say you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a sound of the build to my channel or this video if this doesn't appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, then you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun, and, and all that fun stuff. Um, again, big special thanks to uh, ZPro Warfare for making this tutorial possible. And again, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.